Okay, I'm back, and I figured out what was wrong with the um, episode in the the end of the episode in the previous video. What had happened was that Fraps had run out of space um, on which to record. <laughs> so, being out of space, it had um, well. I guess lagged a bit trying to find some more space that it could record on, failed to find any, and just stopped the recording entirely. In any case, I've cleared up all the extra footage that was um, taking up said space, so now I should actually be able to uh, go ahead and get some more recording done. Another thing is, um, I've noticed, or, ah, damn it, I missed there. All right. I'll get him next time. Well, I have no I had noticed that um there were some odd issues with um distortion and things going on. Why don't you just mind fray him? Uh audio cutting out on the microphone. That sort of thing. And I believe I've sorted that out by purchasing a new headset. You a little closer. See, no, you still can't see him. Oh, no, you can see him, but you can't move and fire. And I don't think you can hit him with the plasma pistol. Yeah, you don't. You don't have any targets available. All right. Well, just go on Overwatch, and if he moves, we'll get him. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, one of those hit him. Good enough. It, oh, he was the last one. Wonderful. I had no idea how close I was to actually finishing that mission. <laughs> well, problem is solved. And back to base we go. But yes, no, I, uh, I do have a new headset now, so that should hopefully solve all the uh, weird audio problems that have been cropping up in the last few videos. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can well do done, to... Uh, it's fix those, makes it home safely. but we shouldn't be running into any more of them. Okay, do I want... Yes, I think I would like that. That's actually... Uh, sure, we'll take that. Continue. And we get... Sectopods and all sorts of horrible things. Okay, great. We will be in touch now then. Later. go, carry on. Aircraft transfer complete. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Okay, sure. Let's go shoot this sucker down. I think this may have be what I was waiting for. Engaging bogey. Oh yeah, this is what I was waiting for. There we go. Okay, good. So we took a bunch of damage out of that, but we did manage to shoot it down. And what do we got? Oh, no sectopods. Lovely. I'll take it. And yeah, that's a battleship. We have shot one down. There's 23 aliens inside. Mutons, Muton Elites. It's probably only going to be one ethereal. Yeah, those have replaced Sectoid Commanders as the standard UFO pilot now. Uh, heavy Floater, okay. Well. Let's see what we can do about that then, shall we? And everyone is equipped properly. Yes, no, yes. I think we are. Okay, well, um, call it good enough. Although, no, actually, actually, it just occurs to me. Load out. Where is it? Arc thrower. Okay, let's see if we can get that ethereal captured, shall we? Mm. Yeah. Good enough. Let's go. Right back over to Asia it is. Drop your 
has arrived. Sort of wave to Osaka as we go by. We're heading into China for the next operation. Now these Looks UFOs like the went down in a sparsely populated are area. A little interesting. Area. I hope they stay clear. I would think they would, Bradford. I really would. Uh, these UFOs are sort of interesting in that you don't actually have anything outside to land on. Um, battleships are huge. This is bigger than anything we've seen so far. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. Yeah. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. You actually land inside the ship. These are big enough to do that. Which I suppose says worrying things about the capability of the aliens, but at this point we really don't have to uh, concern ourselves all that much with such nonsense. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can just uh, come over here. Sniper's a little bit less useful on this map than uh, on some of the others, but you know. What you gonna do? I think we have enough guns to paste anything that might decide to come through that door anyways. Okay, so. And then we have... oh. Okay. Uh... Oh, right, alright, well, I've forgotten about this bit. Okay. Um, Megdog, get out there and see what see what there is to see. Is there anything that needs shooting at? If there is, it's probably down there. So. Let's put you on Overwatch. We'll send Gar running up along with ya. Quite firmly established that there's no aliens to shoot right at this immediate moment. But there are, in fact, always more aliens. Okay. You can hear aliens over there. But, unless they're floaters, they can't get to us probably in this main area over here, sort of. can kind of see that, but not a lot. Alright, okay. Um, go down here. See if there's anything down here. Okay, no. There is nothing down here that actually needs to be shot. Good. There's probably nothing through that door that needs to be shot either. The This is a very, very large map, and the aliens tend to spread out quite a bit. Remember, we've got 23 of them. I'll do my best to keep a running tally so we can figure out about when we have to stop worrying about running into any more. Um, yeah, just come all the way down there. And MC goes there. See, it sounds like there's a sectopod in there somewhere. It sounds like it. But we know there's not. Um, or at least according to the hyperwave relay, there's not. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the other thing with this map. Sight lines can be a little bit funny. Okay. However, we can see there's nothing really up there. So we'll send you over here. We shall send Gar. 
Perhaps, perhaps we shall send Gar up here. Yes, I think that's a good place to send Gar. Let's put him there. Uh, and yeah, again, these suffer from the alien bases sort of uh, style of not very much cover. All things considered. And we'll send you over here. And we'll send you... Well, I guess there is fine. Now... Yeah, see? Aliens are on the other side of this door. There's a lot of different places they can show up. And I'm gonna send, uh... I don't have anyone I really could send up to help Mag talk, so I'm gonna try and keep him, um... I'll just put him here. Ah, hello, heavy floaters! Okay. Well, I'm going to keep training up his psychic abilities a little bit. What can you see? Just him? Well, alrighty. Bullet Swarm means you can... No! Take the guaranteed hit on him. Well, okay, not quite guaranteed, but close enough. Close enough as to make no difference. Good, good. Gar, if you would. Rapid fire on this fool. Nicely done. Uh, Lost can't get anywhere near close enough to do anything, so I'll send him up here with Gar. Just leave him on Overwatch. You can't actually see anything for whatever reason, but you can. We shall see. There's no horrible, gribbly things down here. So why don't you come over here? Flank this idiot. Wow. That is not good. No, no, that is the opposite of good. That is what that is. Especially since you were one of the only people we have left. And we're never gonna be able to manage to kill him with a plasma pistol, so Overwatch. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to try and run away. Okay. I'm not strictly sure why he would do that. But apparently this is a thing he is elected to do. Maybe he didn't know Magtalk was up there. Well, now he does. Too little too late for him, of course, but now he does. Now. Um... These are sort of alternate start areas over here, I think. I suppose I should go clear them out and make sure there's nothing up there. But on the other hand, I kind of want to keep people advancing as much as I can, so... I'll detail a couple people to go up there and make sure everything's alright. And we'll try and avoid triggering... Ah, we have more heavy floaters! Okay, well, you guys... Oh, that's a very silly place to go, you silly heavy floater! Miss! Missed. Well, alright. What's your chance? 65. And 95 on that. And rapid fire is a 95% chance to hit as well. Wow. Rapid fire, 90... Okay. Take the rapid fire. Nicely done. And that'll finish her off.
put Lost up here. Oh, he can actually see that guy way, way over there. Well, he can take an overwatch because it's probably going to try and come get us. And... Who else? Oh, I think we know what we shall do here. Going airborne. I think that we shall send their sniper up here. And MC. MC shall go over here, perhaps. Ah, there will work. Okay, so there's our friend. They're falling back. Apparently electing to not move at all. That is the opposite of falling back. Well, I suppose the opposite of falling back would be advancing, but he's not doing that either, so it's fine. And I don't see anything over here. So why don't I just come over here? Go. Gar, come on down here. Open fire. Ah. There's the silly little blighters. Sectoids. Not terrifying in the slightest. 63% chance on that one. Well, okay, we have more people who can come down here and back them up. But of course we don't have to because Gar's a badass. Okay. Three dead sectoids. Wonderful. So, let's see. That's one, two, three. Three here. Another two heavy floaters there. Eight so far. Eight so far, and... No worries about that. Once again, we have elected to have the blue lines mysteriously vanish. Ah, uh, that's okay. Move you up a little bit. Actually, I suppose we can move you up as much as we like, because now that we know there's no aliens down here. But Gar's got the only cover down there, really. Well, okay, there's this. You can see down there, more ship, and get the impression of how really, truly big this silly thing is. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect there to be much in the way of aliens over there, so... Why don't I just send you over here? 